in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make projectiles i will basically be using physics properties or physics behavior of construct 2 so let's get started first of all i will create a sprite and this this, this will just be a stand so this won't be of any use honestly it's just for show this one is just for show all right i just rename it stand all right now i will create the ground all right all right this is ground um, now i will create a launcher a launcher is uh, this will be something from where the projectile will be launched so a launcher see i don't have any sense of color honestly so i'm just picking a random color whatever seems right to me all right so just a random color also i will just make sure the image point i just move it this side of it the image point is over here something basically it is going to rotate so i want the origin the point of origin should be over here so i just go for the point of origin i will press 4 and it will take it to extreme layer now i will just use my arrow keys and make it a bit rightwards so all right now it's okay so it is basically going to rotate through this point all right now i will make a ball or basically the project and the main thing which will be launched so i need a round object for that so i will use my brush because the constructor does not have anything to draw circle all right i just just make one click and then i will crop it then i will just crop it or whatever this is called crop transparent edges okay. so i will just crop it and it's done i'll call it ball actually actually i will make it even smaller because because i'm going to create this object again and again so i think i should have the appropriate site for this i'll just decrease the size i'll decrease the size to 20 all right now it's it is okay so i will call it ball and this one i have forgotten to rename i will call it launcher and then some few boxes which our ball will be hitting so a few boxes all right so this will be our box right i will make a couple of this i will press my control button and then drag all right now the interesting part now i will be adding physics to these objects now i need to add physics to this ball to these boxes and the ground all right so i will click box over here i will go to behavior then i will add physics behavior all right i'll go to ball same thing behavior physics behavior and the ground same thing add physics behavior now i will make sure that this thing is immovable so immovable i will set to yes the ground is immovable because it can't move and also the collision mask is bounding box and the box collision mask is 
bounding box and this balls collision marks mask is circle all right i'll keep it outside the layout now if you run our pro all right another thing for the ball also i'll go to behavior and destroy outside layout because i i do not want to take too much of space because when the ball is will go outside the layout it should get destroyed all right let's run it let me name it say as gentle pgn studios q2 gentle pgn studios all right all right so i just run it as you can see this this has got all the physics feature over here these boxes now i need to launch the ball when i click Alright, let's make it let's let's do it with the keyboard it will be more interesting so let me add a keyboard even what i'm doing i'm creating a sprite all right let me add a keyboard input keyboard this is an input method now add event keyboard on key down key is down so basically when the up key is down this launcher is going to rotate counterclockwise one angle i mean not i mean with one degree per per pixel or whatever it is like it is going to rotate one degree per step yeah per step so each step or rather each tick it is going to rotate by one degree and same thing copy paste control c control v when the down arrow is pressed it's going to rotate counter clock when the down arrow is pressed we should be rotating clockwise by one degree rotate degrees counter clockwise clockwise done all right so as you can see i'm pressing up button it is going up and it is i mean it's rotating counterclockwise and when i'm pressing down button it is rotating uh, clockwise i just decrease the size a little also i will be creating another image point over here so i'll just add an image point and i will be placing it over here this is this will be the point from where my ball, ball will be launching so I will use the press wait a minute I think I have got something extra over here all right so I thought I'm not actually I thought this sprite is actually extra from where because I deleted the sprite but it's not showing over here it's not so showing in my object so or anyways so go to keyboard event and when key pressed let's say space when key is pressed i want this launcher to create another to spawn another object and that object is ball on layer 0 image point 1 because that's the image point I set up also right, I will just show you what happens now See if I press the space bar a ball is just going to get created all right so what I will do is that I will add impulse to the ball ball under the physics apply impulse at an angle so the impulse i'm going to give five impulse as of now and the image point is zero it's okay angle it's going to be launcher dot angle so 
basically it is going to uh, apply the impulse on the ball and the angle will be of that of the launcher so just look at this so I think 5 is a bit more because it is ball is coming out really fast because the size of the ball actually matters if the ball had been bigger the it would have come a bit slower so I'm just going to make it say 2 Yes, now I can actually see the gravity taking into place because the ball is act actually the projectile is actually proper now. You can actually see the projectile. Alright. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will be actually adding a power bar because so that I, now I'm giving a constant impulse of two, but I want my user to actually press the space bar. And a power a power bar will be going up and down, and when the space bar is released, and the ball will be released according to the power bar. If it is high, the ball will having more impulse, and if it is slow, it will have less impulse. So, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.